Well, good morning, folks. It's the uh, morning of the Crappie Mashers event on Ren Lake. 27 boats, so great turnout, and uh, we're gonna do the best that we can. We're gonna go to the spots we've been paying attention to all week and get her done. All right, folks, welcome back. I appreciate you joining me. Please subscribe. We are at the uh, Championship Day Ren Lake Crappie Masters, the local trail. And we know as this day gets started that we are going to be catching a ton of fish and we're prepared for it. Um, we pick a first location based the fact that there was three steak beds in there. We didn't know if there'd be fish in there, but we had caught good fish on the previous two days. So we started then there. Unfortunately, we did not get a fish on those, which took all of roughly around 15 minutes out of fishing time. So no big deal. Our main plan was to go out here in the main area and fish all day. We know we're going to catch a ton of fish and it's a numbers game. So we've got, we've got to put as many fish in the boat as we can and uh, yeah, get the winning number is our goal. So if you have been watching the pre-fish videos, you know that our strategy has changed at Rimlight. Marcus will cast to the fish. We'll, if he misses the fish or doesn't get a strike or a follow, then we'll come right up on the fish at 14 foot and we'll vertical jig right on top of it. And usually we get the fish. I mean, seriously, if we drop on the fish, we catch it, which is really fantastic. We had a bait that was absolutely on fire. You can check that out on my website, Gumdrop. And, um, yeah, that was a strategy constantly. Marcos would cast, I would vertical jig on top of it, and we would get the fish if it was there. We didn't spook it away, which was rare, to be honest with you. Eggs in that one. Huh? Got some eggs in that one. Wait, we need eggs. So on this day, we catch a ton of fish, folks. I'm, I mean, I'm not joking when I say it was probably anywhere past 150 fish. That's how many fish we literally caught. Me and Marcus both caught at least half of each. It was um, a great strategy, him casting, and then me coming up in vertical jigging. It worked flawlessly. I can't emphasize enough how great me and Marcus worked together in the boat. Um, we don't have to communicate. We know what we're thinking. We know what we're doing. We know what we're casting. It's like flawless. And that comes from fishing with each other on just a personal level. Every day we go out and fish, we're fishing together. And it's like we don't even have to think about what the other person's thinking. It's really nice when you're in a tournament setting, not even to have to think about it. And uh, we're showing it right here. We're putting fish in the boat constantly throughout this day. It was nonstop for the entire time frame. This is a bigger fish. This is definitely a bigger fish. Where'd it be, man? out though. Look at the cut on his body. It's got eggs. Does it? Yep. Look at its cut on this one side. Oh yeah. Good night. Show the fine folks that the cut. That's good fish though. That's probably a big fish right now. That's what a gar will do. That's what a gar will do. Good start. Even though our first spot didn't pay off. 
One, four, three, brother. Good job. There we go. We need seven of those. feet out but he was aggressive he even came down on it nice and he went winds today I'll try to talk a little bit more during this episode because we're gonna catch a ton of fish you're not gonna see every fish catch but we already got probably I'm gonna guess 40 fish that we've caught 30 plus anyway and uh, we're gonna have winds up to about 13 mile an hour starting off here at round six this will be an area that will have probably white caps by the end of the day so we're trying to fish it now and then we'll start tucking in closer to the shoreline one three two good is that our big one or no no one four. One four three. Yeah. So that was a one point three, and we figure we need seven one point fives, honestly. But uh, I don't know what that means. We need, but it'll put us up there anyway. We'll see what happens. We need to get bigger. We need we need we need some big fish, like a one eight. A one a one eight is great. But this is a fun tournament because of how many fish you're catching. And if you love scoping on structure, I mean, this is it doesn't get any better. We're in a lake, you gotta check it out. up high that's good we're gonna have all day all day to upgrade these fish gosh dang baits we're using today are basically I'm using the carrot that's a uh, chartreuse and orange orange head and uh, it's been always good at Rin Lake Rin Lake likes these loud colors I could uh, I'm not fishing with Jack today only because uh, well, I just have long-term success with the carrot they're biting it every time I drop it it's getting cold front moving in, it's supposed to rain later in the day, so. You can kind of feel the temperature change. We're doing well. We're sitting at probably about eight pounds. We need about two and a half more pounds, which we knew we needed a bunch of one five, so. We're about two and a half hours into it. We're just rolling. I'll put this bait on my website. It'll have a different orange head on it, but regardless, that's the bait, that's a carrot. And uh, good bait on dirty water lakes. Any dirty water lake, it's gonna be fantastic. A lot of the baits I have on my website are primarily for dirty water, because they're identified at these tournaments and that's where we go dirty water
there you have it folks we're closing shop up we're going to go to the weigh-in we're going to show you exactly where we end up and uh, i'll tell you what we caught probably around 170 fish on this day and we were calling up by the 0.01 ounce uh numbers i mean i'm talking small um so i can tell you that uh we fished hard we fished non-stop we didn't take a lunch break it was just go 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 and what you see here is is uh, is basically the results of putting in the time for this entire trip to run lake don't mess it up <laughs> But if you ever want to go back, oh yeah, okay. I think I can do that. I can't see it with the glass. My bad. Well, we just finished the tournament and uh, we got third place at Rim Lake out of 26 boats? 26, 27. 26, 27. So we're really excited about that. That was a really good finish for us at Rim Lake and uh, we worked hard at it. And so you saw the episode before about putting the time in. We definitely put the time in. That's right. So uh, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. I'll have the leaderboard here. I'll show you. And uh, till next time, I believe it'll be Kentucky Lake is the next tournament. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Three awesome. pound fishing. There you go. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.